Okay, a tennis ball is dropped from the top of a tall building. Air resistance is not negligible. It is not neglected. Okay, so viscous drag force is uh, considered. It is not neglected. And the formula for this is um, 6 pi eta r v. So we need not to go into that detail. As per my experience with IB, this formula is not required. But I'm just writing it because generally it is taught. So this can be treated as k into v. So this complete term is taken as constant. So the force is, this is the only force in the universe that is directly proportional to the velocity of the body. Very important to know. So, okay, fine. Uh, F is equal to kV is suffice for us. Now, which graph shows the variation of the time t with the time t of the displacement of the ball? So now he's not talking about the velocity. Beta. So it's very important to understand that he's talking about the displacement. So when the ball has started falling, it will be falling, it, the velocity will increase first of all, it will be acted upon by the weight and acceleration due to gravity will act on it because the velocity is zero, there is no drag force. After some time, the drag force will start building itself because as the velocity keeps on increasing, the velocity will keep on increasing, uh, the drag force will keep on increasing, FD. So when mg becomes equal to the drag force i can say that f net will become zero so no longer the body will be getting accelerated the body will no longer get accelerated even when the body is having a free fall we should be very clear about that so it means the velocity will become constant afterwards so this graph b this graph I think this graph is suitable for velocity, not for displacement. This is for the velocity. And so you can see the velocity will increase and after some time, it will become constant like this. It will become constant. So this is perfectly for the velocity. So B option is wrong because it is talking about the displacement. Now. Okay. If this is the velocity, so it means that for this time, when the velocity is increasing, it is getting accelerated. So there will be a parabolic path that will be followed. So this is being followed in A, in the option A. And it is followed in the option D also. So C is also wrong because the velocity is increasing. So it will be a parabolic, positive parabolic. And afterwards, the acceleration becomes zero and the velocity becomes a constant. So at constant velocity, your displacement time graph is a straight line graph. So afterwards, it will become straight line. So option A will be correct and option D will also be wrong. I repeat, when velocity is constant, when our velocity is constant, when velocity is constant, so you see the graph, the displacement time graph is always a straight line which is like mathematically you can say y is equal to mx plus c. It will be a straight line. So this straight line is not available here. See, and in this region, the velocity is constant. It is a straight line. It is similar to this. So the velocity will become straight line. This is a straight line here. That is why A option will be absolutely correct. I hope it is 100% clear to you. If there is any doubt, please do ask me in the comment section. All the best. Bye.